good day students today we are going to study more about the first derivative of a function that is if y is equal to fx is a given function we are going to study dy by dx earlier you had studied that the first derivative of a function using first principle dy by dx is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x by h where h is a small increment in x due to which there will be a variation in y and the rate of change of this variation is what is defined as the first derivative earlier we could differentiate only few functions using first principle but now we are going to use a formula method to find the derivatives of a vast number of functions there should be a function which is impossible to be differentiated today we are going to learn three basic functions which I have taken one is y is x raised to n also called a power function the second one is y is equal to k or a constant function where k is a constant and the third one is y is equal to e raised to x or which is called an exponential function when we come to the first one y is equal to x raised to n then dy by dx will be equal to d by dx of x raised to n which is equal to n into x raised to n minus 1 or d by dx of x raised to n is n x raised to n minus 1 remember this formula which you had proved earlier using the first principle suppose y is equal to x raised to 8 then d by by dx is equal to 8 into x raised to 7 similarly if y is equal to cube root of x If y is equal to cube root of x state yes uh, state cube root of x in the power form y is equal to x raised to 1 by 3 yes so i can write see y is equal to x raised to 1 by 3 if i write y is equal to x raised to 1 by 3 then dy by dx will be equal to d by dx of x raised to 1 by 3 which is equal to 1 by 3 into x raised to 1 by 3 minus 1 which will be equal to 1 by 3 into x raised to minus 2 by so here you are differentiated the cube root of x uh, dy by dx of cube root of x is 1 by 3 x raised to minus 2 by 3 next let us study about a constant function in a constant function there is no x at all so there can't be a variation in x only if there is a variation in x according to that there will be a variation in y or in short the differential of a constant function is always a zero. So if y is equal to k, the meaning is that dy by dx, which will be equal to d by dx of k will be equal to zero. Example. Now if y is equal to pi, if y is equal to pi, 
you all know the value of 5 22 by 7 good yes what would be the case but do remember 22 by 7 is a number 3.14 is also a number so it is a constant so over here we say that dy by dx is equal to 0 y is equal to 4 dy by dx is equal to 0 or if any constant y is equal to its first derivative dy by dx will be 0 let us go to the third one that's an exponential function y is equal to e raised to x e raised to x is the only function whose derivative is nothing but itself or d by dx of e raised to x is nothing but e raised to x if y is equal to e raised to x and say d y by dx will be equal to d by dx of e raised to x which will be equal to e raised to x if y is equal to 2 e raised to x then dy by dx will be equal to 2 into d by dx of e raised to x which is equal to 2 e raised to x or d by dx of e raised 2 e raised to x is 2 e raised to x so whatever the functions are you can easily state its derivative okay so i've uh, given you some problems and i want each and every one of you to work them out if you have a doubt anywhere on any question or once you work the homework problems and you want some more complex problems you can